My friends, I'm here to tell you, we've made it. I, I, I've been just grinding away down here, just testing, testing, and more testing. It hasn't been just me. I've also consulted with many luminaries, of course, and, and scholars, and one down-on-his-luck magician to leave no stone unturned. And now, I'm proud and humbled to bring you this freaking massive slider update for new gen. Okay, because unfortunately the last patch happened. Now it did do some good. I, I, I will give it that, but of course, you know, it also threw some other things off. So part of this is fixing that, but it's also just, you know, some good old fashioned fine tuning. You know, to make things just that much better. Alright, so just stay with me here through the video. You'll have everything you need. Uh, we gotta do a little update to the game speed setting later. But first, where have the turnovers gone? Yeah, like, dude, I, I can't do any more than that, 2K. I repeatedly, this, yeah, wow, yeah, right, right, right through his arm there. Right, right through it, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, man, it, it, it just made it way too hard to, to deflect and steal passes. So that's the, the, the hands, the steal success, play passing lanes, pass speed, pass accuracy sliders. All right, so it's, and then we also, we've seen this in the past as well, you know, where he can just like dribble into to, to a crowd of hundreds it doesn't matter the ball is like a like a magnet to the ball handler oh that's the ball security slider had to go down and of course stealing steal success go for on ball steals ball handling it's a lot of different sliders you know to make this stuff make sense again and and get the turnover numbers back to consistently right around where we want them which we did and you can see ah, some of my triumphs here like it's just so much better man yeah you, you, you know what it if we have to get steals with with our faces with our freaking foreheads then that, that that that's just what we'll do then damn it instead of before where it was like well why the hell should i even try i'm just gonna you know i might get burned and the ball's just gonna go right through me even even if i do the greatest job that i could hey and and right here here we go so much better man if, if you're gonna if you're gonna dribble into a freaking crowd like that if you're gonna if you're gonna risk it then you know yeah you probably should lose the ball every once in a while oh so, yeah man so, oh my god that's right and strips on the way up too they they were just gone i don't know where the hell they went after the patch but they're they're back man it's it it's all back everything's back to to where it should be I, I, I was definitely surprised with with how much adjusting it, it took to get it there like yeah whatever turnovers fixed realism restored and that's just one area of many like there's a lot of different improvements with this big update of course i uh, really hope you guys enjoy i know i've been having a freaking ball with these new sliders yeah man let's let's get to we also want to do a slight game speed adjustment Hey, a new recommended setting to go with these new sets. So now I got this game speed up to 55. Hey man, so 55 with this update. Let's get to accessing the sets. Um, this is a really, really massive update. I think I counted like 42 different sliders that have changed. Um, and then you multiply that by six difficulty levels. So yeah, so a lot. So. Clearly, I'm not going to make you have to like sit here and, and copy all that down from the video. Yeah, you probably figured that with an update this big. So I do have the downloadable sets completely updated. Okay, and the crossplay does work. So both PS5 and Xbox series, um, you can find the sets. Just go into the sliders, search my game tag. Um, it's the Pop Boy. I can't put every single difficulty level on there because they limit how many you can put up. So that's why we also have our trusty old Google Doc. Of course, I got that completely updated. 
I got the link in the description for you. And it's good to have that too if you just want to like copy and paste into your own doc and then make some of your own personal tweaks. I think it's easier to do it that way. Oh yeah, man, we're good to go, man. Now, I am going to put some more um, like info and details and explanations and examples and stuff like that explaining, you know, specific sliders and what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to put more stuff like that in the coming days on my Twitter or my X. Okay, so that handle is the underscore pop boy. And then you can also hit me up on there if you have any questions about anything specific or something you're running into, any feedback. Um, also comment on the video if you got any of that stuff as well. Yeah, man, so what's coming up next? So the next video, <sighs> dude, this, this, this freaking problem with the, the, the injury duration. That that's all I'll say for now. It's it's just it, it'll be everything about that. Okay, and updated injury sliders across the board. Just everything you'd want with injuries in my NBA. Guys, okay, so stay tuned for that. Make sure, of course, you subscribed um, and you got your bell on. Keep yourself notified. Swear to God, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to upload more been a rough one man i i don't whatever everybody's got problems you don't nobody cares so anyway yeah man pop that like button for me before you go i really do appreciate all your guys support and i i just want nothing more than to do to, to do a better job for you guys and be there more consistently I swear to god but yeah man i really appreciate you guys i hope you guys are all doing well and I really hope to see you right back here next time on 2K with the pipe. Mwah.